Hey y'all, Jay's Creations Art Sanity here, and today I'm going to do a green swirl tumbler. So this is a 20 ounce modern curve hog tumbler that I have prepped and given a base coat of a mint green. Now I am coming in with some green. This green is like a fluorescent neon green um, that I've mixed in my epoxy and I am just covering the whole tumbler with this color. Once I get that covered, I'm going to come in with my torch to get any bubbles. Now, if you want to know how I prep my tumblers, I have a video showing you how I do that that I will leave linked in here. I will also leave it in the description along with all the supplies that I used. It'll all be in the description below, so be sure to check that out. So, once I have my green epoxy on here, now I'm going to come in with different shades of green mica powders um, and just kind of drape them across this cup, just randomly um, wherever I see fit, um, along with those green mica powders. That first one that I laid down was actually a white that kind of has a um, gold hue to it. And then I'm going to uh, finish it off with some rose gold uh, alcohol ink. And I have all of those individually mixed up into little cups and just draping those across my cup um, again no random order just wherever I see fit and I just continue to uh, do this with those different colors until I am satisfied that it's like I have enough on there and it's looking how I want it to then I come in with that rose gold to finish it all up and I will quickly hit this with my torch to get any bubbles. I don't want to heat it up too much and have those colors just all run together. And then I will cover it and leave it spinning to cure on my turner hair. So once it's cured, this is the next day and I'm just going to put a name on here that I made on my Cricut with some, um, I think it was green uh, sparkle vinyl, if I remember right. So I just eyeball that and get that name on there and then I will put it back on my turner to give this, I actually give this two coats of um, epoxy, of course letting them cure in between each coat to finish this cup. So once I get this good and covered, I'm going to make sure I get the top rim good and I will hit it with my torch, get any bubbles, cover it, leave it spinning to cure. And then like I said, I do do another clear coat over this and that is basically it for this cup. I will get it all cleaned up and I will show you how it came out here at the end. So here it all is, all done, cleaned up. I really love that that mint green base coat come through on this. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And until next time, see ya!